Hello everyone, Mother Gamer here with another Best Life episode, this time with Bob Pancakes. Stick with me, here comes the intro! So I've never played with the Pancakes family in any circumstance whatsoever. I've never played with them at all. I know about them, I, you know, from other simmers, things that I read online, stuff like that. I've also experienced them in the world. Eliza's always very bitter and everybody thinks that Bob Pancakes deserve a better life. I'm gonna go in, I really don't know anything about their personalities or anything. I'm not gonna deal with Eliza, but I am going to give Bob Pancakes the best life he can absolutely have. And since that's what you guys voted for on my Instagram story, instead of Brandy Broke, we're going with Bob Pancakes. We'll see what I get him into. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see what, what his personality and his aspiration is. And we'll do a couple episodes maybe with Bob um, to give him his best life and live in a perpetual perfection, just like we left Nervous Subject with. So we have Bob here. I need to definitely give him a makeover. He's a he's a good looking dude. Like he's not bad looking. We have Eliza over here. Of course, this is his wife. He wants to be a master chef. So maybe we should open up a restaurant with him. I don't think we'll we'll reach his aspiration, but I do think I want to open a restaurant of his. Of course, he does love his wife uh, very much. Um, how does she feel about him, though? She loves him too. I mean, they're like not real great friends, but they are, you know, they're okay. Let's see, he's gloomy, he's a slob, he's a loner, and he has the essence of flavor. They're like total opposites. I see, I see, I gotcha. He has no likes, he has none that, he has a neutral reputation. We're going to, of course, is he? Are they, are they wearing matching rings? They are. Like, and it's not like male, female matching rings, like they're literally wearing the same ring. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just, it's unusual to see a big rock on a, a man. I mean, in a, in a heterosexual relationship, but okay. We're gonna give him a makeover. Uh, I'm gonna look at this house cause I've never, I've never been in here. They have like a table in their living room. That's very strange. They have a little backyard. That's really cute. And then upstairs, we have, we have like this extra bedroom. Okay, so we have like a very effeminate bedroom in here, which I assume is the main bed, is their bedroom. And then we have a big bathroom here and then a, an extra bedroom here with uh, some workout equipment um, and stuff like that. Is there anything like up on the walls in here? No, just posters. I think this would just be like a guest bedroom probably, since it's over here. Um, and then this is their main bedroom. Very fancy, very fancy indeed. And I guess really like maybe maybe it could have been a, a future kids room or something. I don't know. I don't know. So my daughter just brought me the remote control from the living room. We're not gonna change his physical features because when I do these best life challenges, I don't want to change like who they are physically. That's silly. Um, but I do want to give them a makeover and just make them look the best that they can. I'm trying to figure out if I want him to stay married to Eliza or not. They're not in like bad, they're not in a bad relationship. I wish there was like actual backstory. Like, you know, Eliza does something hits him. I don't know. Oh, thank you, Lipitas. Oh, I forgot about the likes and dislikes. We need a favorite color. What's his favorite color gonna be? I think his favorite color should be blue. Let's make him over. Let's make him the best Bob we could make. Randy's learning. Load for me. Sing for me, my angel. Bob 
Ooh, I kind of like the green. What if Bob went green? Yes. ring on and his formal wear. Oh, so that's not even a, 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 a ring that you can do on men. Interesting. I'm fascinated by that. Very fascinated by that. Did Eliza propose? good you looking fly I, I I get your socks off okay we can't have this this is nighttime so we'll we'll not do the we will do the earrings but we won't do the um because you know some people sleep in their earrings my sister sleeps in her earrings I don't know she's weird <laughs> not that if anybody else sleeps in their earrings that not that you're weird I'm not saying that just my sister Why am I going full-fledged on this? You know, I really don't know. Because Bob deserves it. Bob deserves the best life he can have. Don't you agree, Arlie? Say yes. She's saying it. She's... <laughs> keep him married um, just because they don't have a bad relationship there's not really a point in them being not married you know like that's just silly Bob. Oh, don't do that. Here's new Bob. He's... I like it. I like it. We're gonna do a few episodes of this, I think, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what... I, okay, because it's... We're, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're going to get him to own... We're gonna start a restaurant with him, and we'll see if we can get it successful. I've done the restaurant thing before. Oh my god. Huh? He's so cute. Oh, yeah. Eliza could never. All right, so let's go ahead and max his motives. I don't really care about Eliza so much. Like, she can do whatever. Um, Girl. I mean, that's fine, too. What we're doing is we're going to buy a restaurant. Oh, I don't think I have a restaurant to buy. <laughs> Should we make him a restaurant? Let's go and make a restaurant. We're gonna we're gonna go find a restaurant really quickly. We're gonna go to the gallery really quickly, and we are going to look up restaurants. Um, I'm gonna put hippie restaurant, and we're gonna see what we get. Ooh, I love this one. Okay, we're gonna do this one. All right, I just spent uh, like an hour and a half uh, finding. <laughs> of a really cute restaurant and then um organizing not organizing but creating the menu for it it's a vegetarian restaurant and super hippie-ish 
and um, yeah, and the uh, I, I customized all of the uh, chefs, the hosts, and the waiters' um, uniforms, so <laughs> I did a lot of stuff. So we're going to come back here, and we're going to have Bob buy a restaurant. I mean, Eliza really could use a makeover too, but this isn't her best life. This is Bob's best life. And Eliza's just along, along for the ride, to be quite honest with you. So it is what it is. So we're going to start out this restaurant and um, we'll see where we get. We need to hire some people, obviously. Um, it's been a long time since I've played with this uh, particular pack, it was one of the first things that I did and I actually really enjoyed doing this. So what we need to do, one, is clean up, there's like plates and stuff. What I need to do is hire people, select a new sim to hire. So we need a chef, we need a server, and we need a ho- Three dollars an hour. What is this, America? And that, my friends, is the sweet, sweet taste of freedom. Okay, so we only have like women in our employment, but that's fine. All right, so we need to open and we need to get going, right? Let's go ahead and open. And let's get this going. Look how cute the chef outfit is. Ah, she's got, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Hey, why aren't you in your work outfit? There you go. She's a server, um, so we're gonna we're gonna fraternize here. Look how cute they are. What we need to do is fraternize with the customers. We need to. I know this is a terrible idea because uh, he's like, "Welcome to the restaurant," because um, he's a loner. So this is, isn't really gonna make any sense. But we need to also provide training for the. Uh, the guests. Fill a box. What you have to do as well, look at this restaurant, okay? I didn't even give you the tour, but look how freaking cute it is. This was created by another summer. Um, I think it's pronounced Anaya9753. This is so cute. Like, here, let's look at the outside really quick. How cute is this place? Hey, eh? She did a great, he or she did a great job. I don't know why I assume it's a girl all the time. I assume everybody's a girl all the time. That's rude. <laughs> We need to make sure our staff is. She's she's mean. <laughs> I wish this place had more friendly service. Hey, be friendly. Nice. Is he done? Oh my gosh, the woman herself. Uh, Judith Ward. Let's talk to uh, Judith here. What is she doing? Let's not talk to Judith. Let's talk to this. She's getting pictures done of her in my restaurant, so that seems pretty cool. That lady is angry, so that's good. As long as I can keep them at three stars, that'll be helpful. I think what time I'm gonna close it is at 10. Why are you dancing? You don't even like dancing. Lord. She's looking at the mirror and she said, wow, this place has great decor. The other thing that is is really effective is to like, really, to really like schmooze with your employees because it makes them feel good and makes them do better, um, which is which is a thing that should happen in general uh, in life. Like you should really make your employees feel better. He just farted. Bob, you disgusting pig! Hunger beret, oh yabahorn! We'll be closing right after them. <laughs> They're freaking out about Judith. But anyway, after they're served, um, that's when we're going to close. Everybody goes home. When we get back to the restaurant for the next episode, I, I think we're going to try to. We're just going to make it a four, five star restaurant. That's what the 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 thing is. That's what we're going to do. Judith uh, Ward has just been staring at herself in the, uh, in the, you know, I always thought that Judith Ward was like an elder, but she's not, she's just an adult. I didn't even realize that. Stop dancing! Like he's literally dancing and he doesn't like dancing. I don't, like I'm not going to do things I don't like. 
I love how they hate everything, but they're like, eh, it's free. So we're gonna promote everybody um, tomorrow that we can promote. They've been working for, for, <laughs> I'm motivated by my desire to stay employed. Oh, buddies. I feel that. Okay, they're done and we are closed. We are closed. Nicely done, guys. We got two stars. Nicely done. So, we're gonna go home and that's where we're gonna end it today. We'll come back to the restaurant in the next episode and our goal is to get five stars for him to live his best life. I think, uh, I think Bob, Bob's best life is to run a successful business and make people work when he doesn't have to. Uh, I think that's what he, he would really enjoy. I think that's the best life for Bob. One other thing I think I wanna do maybe is, I don't know, I don't know if I want him to have an affair or if I wanna have a kid or, I don't know. I might make them have a kid because I think he'd like that. I think he'd want a kid. So we'll see, we'll see where I go with it. But definitely the successful restaurant is what we're gonna do. Um, we might do an affair. I don't know, that might be fun. Thank you very much for joining me. Please join me in the next one. If you like this video, please like it. If you don't like it, please dislike it. Um, whatever feedback helps me and you know promotes my channel a little bit. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would love to have more subscribers, um, even though I don't post very often or very, you know, very in a, in a schedule. But I do this for fun, and I do like um, that some people are enjoying watching me for some reason. But I love you all. I do. I love you all. Okay, thanks. Bye.